Hey beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. So today we have a product assembly and a little bit of a demo. So right here I have the Shark Navigator Anti-Allergen Plus. So I got this on a deal with Target, free shipping of course. I'll leave the price that I paid down below but I want to take it out of the box. So it is an unboxing for all those who love unboxings. This is that channel. So I try to share with you my first thoughts and opinions and the reasons why I get things so that you may decide to do it as well. Okay, so this has a five year limited warranty um, and we're gonna just get into it and unbox this. So when you open it up, there's a quick start menu right here on the box. You could rip this off and save it just in case you wanted to know how to use the attachments. This is the second shark vacuum that I've bought. The other one um, died. That's how long I had it. And the owner's guide is there just in case for your reference. And let's just get into it. I'm taking all the pieces out, making sure that there's nothing left in the bags. A lot of times they will leave further instructions or extra pieces, so just be careful when you open things like this. You never know. Um, there was a little piece of cardboard that was stuck there, so I got it off after. But like, they wrapped everything very nicely and easy to follow instructions. I really, really do like Shark products. Um, like I said, this is the second vacuum that I've bought from them. So I want, I want to talk about some of the specs. So it says it has swivel steering, so like it moves and rotates with you. And then wide upholstery tool, which is this one for like the couch, um, maybe the stairs, carpet. And then it's allergen sealed system captures and traps over 99.9%, .9%, which is why I got it because we have a lot of allergies and a lot of dust with the construction. Um, if you have pets, this is really good. And there's a crevice tool in here and I do have some attachments left over from the last shark that should fit. So this is the major component attached with the hose. I like the white color. It says navigator right here in the front. This is the canister. It's pretty self-explanatory. Long cord. And then this is where the other attachment is for the hose. And then um, we're just gonna put it together. Let me show you how to open this first. They all should be the same, but this should just come off. So let's do that again. First time, I'm gonna make sure that the whole system is closed. So it snaps in, there's a little gray button right here. See that little gray button. And then the on and off switch. So gray button pops right off. So if you wanted to then empty this chamber, you would press this button. And you, you can see there's a hole there. Oh. So, and then this top button is so that you can access the filter that's inside. So if things get trapped in there. All right, so let's put that back on. Oh, well, let me show you the other filter that's right here. Kind of miss it because it's white, but it's right here along with another mesh filter inside. So always good. You want to make sure that you have a filter on your vacuum. And so make sure it's in properly and it doesn't come out. So it says here, um, you're going to peel this off. So let's go back to our quick start menu and there should be a long handle right 
here. There it is. Break that seal. This goes here. should be something. And then if you wanted to add your your tools, they just go right in there like that. It's a little tight right now because it's new. So you just want to make sure that it's sealed. And according to this, I've done it correctly. All right, so we have our plug. Let's undo that and do like a little demo. Make sure it all works. I also want to make sure that anything that we opened, there was nothing in it. So we don't have any missing pieces. Okay, so I have that. And you see, there was this tool in the bottom. So now for the demo. press on here that's how my other one was yep and I used to have a switch right here but it's here
also wanted to show you that there is a level one and a level two on the on button. Also, there is an indicator light that turns green right here when it's rolling. So if it's not green, that means you've lost suction. So that is it for this Shark Navigator Anti-Allergen Plus. And I think so far, I just did a little bit. It looks okay. The Shark brand is really great. So I think the Shark brand is really great. Like I said, I've had another one. Um, this will just have to stand the test of time children and all that other good stuff if you like this review let me know down in the comments if you like more of these videos i will try my best and do more reviews and demonstrations for now i've been waiting to open this so that i can use it and clean until next time guys stay safe